Now in this lesson, we will learn how we can add a camera rig crane. Now camera rig crane is just like a crane we see usually in um, like movies, if you will see like there is a shot where the camera is going up or down just like a drawn shot. But it's not a drawn shot. Basically, it is used uh, like they use a crane just like this one. This is a short version, like a short crane. But there is also a long crane, which is more like a very heavy crane. So let's see how we can do that. Here we have a camera rig crane. And if you move this camera rig crane in your scene, it will look like exactly the way uh, like the one that I showed you now. What I can do here is that I can change its orientation, like its rotation, and I can face it somewhere here next to the fountain so that when I am animating my camera, it is facing the fountain. So let's put something somewhere here. Now, how does this work? We have seen how the rig rail work. The rig rail works with uh, like the movement of the rig itself. But here we have crane pitch and we have crane yaw. But we have crane arm length and we have lock mount pitch and we have lock mount uh, yaw. So these two we will uh, see after connecting it with the camera. But let's see what is the crane pitch. Now pitch is the movement of up and down. You can say it is basically a, uh, a kind of, uh, you can say tilting, like uh, moving up or down. Now, what is the yaw? Yaw is move, 360 degree movement, like move, or like rotating around. So that is basically yaw. Now, if you move it up and at the same time, you can increase the length of the arm. So basically, this is how you can make it uh, look more dynamic. So you can make it as long as you want because this is the world of Unreal Engine. Now, what we are going to do is that I will just go to my camera. And just like what we did last time, I will set it up the camera to actually under uh, like to uh, to be kind of under my uh, rig rail somewhere here okay and then what I will do here is that let's see where is the rig rail here it is way down here so what I need to do is that I have to move this uh, rig rail to the camera's uh, folder so we can easily uh, parent this one. So I will take this camera, this is camera 9, and I will parent with the camera rig crane. Now once we are done, it is rigged, you, uh, it, it has become it has become the child of the, the parent, the rig uh, crane. Now let's go up here, and now if I will just notice, you just keep your eye on the um, like preview here. Now, if I will move it up, you can see the camera is moving up or down. Okay. Or I can move, rotate it. Okay. And I can also zoom in and out with the help of the arm. So this is how it actually works. But you will notice that when I'm moving my crane, uh, like uh, for example, it's uh, the pitch, if I'm uh, like tilting it up or down, notice the camera. The camera is still looking, uh, it's still looking straight. And uh, the crane itself is pointing to the sky. Now, why this is looking straight? Because it is not locked to the camera uh, 
like a rig pitch and if same thing if I rotate it so you can see it is not facing to the same direction where this arm is facing that the crane arm is facing it is facing still straight if you will notice that it is still facing straight so if I move this you can see that it is still facing straight now the reason is that because they, it is not locked now how we can work uh, around this how we can make it locked we have this option lock mount pitch and lock mount yaw if I will lock it to the mount pitch and then move my pitch uh, like camera like crane pitch so you can see now it is looking up on the sky and go all the way back there Okay, and same thing. Let's similarly, if I will lock the yaw also, and if I move it, so you can see now it is facing to the same direction where my arm is facing. So this is how you can lock it, and you can have a nice three sixty degree shot. And if I move it up something like this and then camera arm length so you can see just how it is moving so i hope uh it is clear uh like how this camera uh like grained who works actually so in our next uh, le lessons, when, like whenever we will move to uh, the animation and the rendering and we will learn about the level sequence, we will see how we can uh, animate these cameras. And one more camera trick we will learn is the camera sh shake. And we use the camera shake, uh, we use camera shake with the blueprint. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do it now and don't forget to hit the bell icon. By the way, I have noticed that many of you are watching my videos without subscribing. So let's change that. Subscribe to my channel and be the part of the interactive community. Now, here's something really important I want to talk about. Please do not download my videos. Just watch them online. When you download them, it messes up my watch time hours. And that's a bummer. I want to keep creating awesome videos, but it's demotivating when I lose out on those stats. Thanks a bunch for your support. You guys rock. Catch you all in the next video.